Hi guys, Raj here, back with another video. I am an enterprise solutions architect working at AWS. So let me ask you a question. What do you think the most common interview question is for a cloud position in an enterprise? You think this one? Nope. The most asked question is, how do you optimize cost in AWS? As orgs become mature and migrate most of their projects to cloud, they look to optimize cost and rightfully so. So in this video, I'm gonna go over steps to optimize your AWS cost. Also, these are battled hardened knowledge. You won't find this in Google. So here we go. So here is my top three recommendation to optimize cost in AWS. These are must do's. Right size, right size, and right size. Okay, jokes apart, right size is the number one thing to do. So what is right sizing? For most companies, migration start with lift and shift. You migrate your existing application, which is running in your on-premise server, to EC2. Generally, you look at the on-prem server CPU and memory and pick an equivalent EC2 and move your app. Most cases, on-prem servers are over-provisioned cause there is no on-demand auto-scaling in on-premise. So the EC2 you moved your app is underutilized for most of the time, but you pay full price. Right-sizing means choosing the correct EC2 instant family based on CPU and memory utilization. There is an excellent blog on right-sizing. I will link to that in the description. There is also a EC2 right-sizing cost optimization solution from AWS that you should check out. Next is delete unattached EBS. Even after you terminate your EC2s, EBS volume stays on, unless you pick the option to delete it with the EC2 termination. And those unattached EBS cost you money. So please create a script to look for unattached EBS and delete them. Next must do tip is use reserved instances or RIs. RIs provide a significant discount up to 75% compared to on-demand pricing and provide a capacity reservation when used in a specific availability zone. And you have the flexibility to change families, OS types when you use convertible RIs. Next comes cost optimization should do's. Is your instance running 24 hours, seven days a week in non-prod, but only getting used during weekday office hours? That's a big waste of your money create an EC2 scheduling strategy to stop those unutilized non-prod EC2s. And utilize spot instances. A spot instance is available for less than on-demand price. Because spot instances enable you to request unused EC2 instances at steep discounts, you can lower your Amazon EC2 costs significantly. However, you have to check if your application fits the criteria of running in spot instances. I will give a link in the description to discover more. And a really good rule of thumb is check your bill for top spending line items. Sometimes you will see you are bleeding money on stupid things, such as some DMS instance is running forever, even though it's not being used, or some extra cloud trail that you don't need, etc. Here comes some other general tips. Use budget even per application if needed. Spread cost awareness in your organization using town halls and other calls. Reward cost optimized teams. Rearchitect your application to use cheaper cloud native services, such as maybe you are running a microservice in an EC2. Why not convert it to a Lambda and save a lot of money? Use infrastructure as or is code, such as CloudFormation, CDK. So that saves time and money when things go bad, especially if you have to spin up a DR environment, and then you can easily distribute good CloudFormation or CDK scripts across org. 
and last but not the least cost is everyone's responsibility all right guys that is the video if you like this video please smash that like button and click subscribe hope this video helps in your aws journey i will see you guys later peace